Hi guys, this is Raisha and I welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. As promised in my last video, I'm going to prepare a video series on how to apply for the MyTax Global Link Research Internship, which is an international internship which is based off in Canada. So as a first step for the actual procedure to start, I would like you all to see the actual main website for the MyTax Global Link Research Internship. Let me share it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the official website for the MyTax Global Link Research Internship. And I will be sharing the link for this website in the description down below so that you can check it out. So what is the my Tax Global Link Research Internship. So it is the research internship, which is a competitive initiative for international undergraduates from different universities. But it does have a limitation on the countries that it deems eligible. So these are some of the countries which have been listed on their website. Since I'm a student of an Indian university, I can speak of be on behalf and for the Indian students. So this would be solely a video for those who are applying from India. So as you can see, this research internship is, is, goes on from May to October of each year. So the application procedure for the 2023 would be starting off this year in July. So as you can see, it is a research internship which takes up top rank applicants who participate in a 12 week research internship under the supervision of a Canadian university faculty member in a variety of academic disciplines. So when you get selected for this internship, then you have a choice that you get to choose 12 weeks between the months of May to October which you are going to uh, pursue for that year. And the disciplines that are permitted for this internship are science, engineering, and mathematics, but also there are humanities and social science projects as well. So this internship, since I've already mentioned that it is done under the supervision of a Canadian university faculty member, so there are around 70 universities across Canada who are partnered with the MyTax Global Link Research Program. So um, when the actual student applications start, then there would be loads of Canadian universities listed who would be participating in this program. Uh, and moving on, some of the important things that you should know before starting off your application. So when you click on the student application tab, the first thing that you're going to see is the call for student applications for 2023 will be launched in the summer of 2022. So it, it hasn't started just yet, but uh, one thing that I would say that you should do is subscribe here to get notified, just click here and put in your details so that they can send you an, e an email when the student applications actually start so that you don't forget about it because it's a great opportunity. So these are some of the things which the MyTax Global Link Research Internship provides. That is, it is a 12 week internship in a foreign land. You get to work under outstanding faculty members that is international faculty members at Canadian universities. And also, uh, it is a really great opportunity in the sense that you get to know a lot about yourself and you have to do everything on your own because you are in a foreign land all by yourself. So some of the things that you should keep in mind, that is the pre-application procedure, if I put it, is that you have to review the eligibility criteria. Uh, and the eligibility criteria for each country is just different and I would be talking about it in a few minutes. And this step that is the issuing of passport is important later on. Once you get selected for the internship, then you obviously have to show that you are eligible for traveling to their country and have a valid passport. 
but as of now if you already have a valid passport that that has a renewal date in much later years so then that is not an issue but if you wish to get your passport renewed just now you can do that as well uh the one of the other steps that you have to do is that get a reference letter from your professor now these are some of the steps that you have to do once you start your application i had started it when i had selected my projects and when the application portal had opened but you may decide if you want to do beforehand as well a reference letter from a professor is also called lor letter of recommendation which you can get from any of your university professors and some of the instructions for getting the lor uh have been listed by them so this is the click clickable link and you can click on this and find that out also one of the most important step for this application is preparing your cv uh mytax does have its own template that they give you for um, preparing the cv i personally used my uh i personally used the cv template that they had provided but some of my friends had chosen uh, the route of making their cvs on overlay or giving uh, or using the template which is provided by google docs so you can decide what you want to do i'll talk about this in one of my later videos as well also you have to obtain your academic transcripts so an academic transcript is basically a sheet of paper that describes all the grades and maybe the marks which you have received in all of the uh, semesters that you have been in college so at the time when i was applying last year i had completed the my fourth semester so i had obtained the transcript till the fourth semester and then had sub submitted it in my application also you have you should be proficient in english and french is also an added benefit for some provinces which are french dominated but it's not necessary and as far as application is concerned when the student application portal will start you have to keep in mind you should be prepared that you would have to answer questions like what is your academic discipline what is the program that you are doing and other educational information like i am currently doing my engineering from thapar institute of engineering and technology and my degree is bachelor of engineering electronics instrumentation and control and it comes under the department electronics and instrumentation right so you should you are obviously aware of these things and what are your research in interest have you pursued research before or and if not have you uh, you know been a part of other organizations as an intern what are your skills and what are the various achievements you have achieved till now and why do you wish to pursue research in canada so when the student application uh, portal actually opens i'll walk you through those steps again and in much more detail uh so moving on some of the eligibility requirements for the 2022 application for the summer of 2023 are that at the time of the application you should be at least 18 years of age right and be enrolled in a full time undergraduate course or maybe an undergraduate or masters combined course and the list of the eligible institutions i would be sharing in a while and have up to 1 to 3 semesters left at the time of the applying uh that is like when i had applied last year for the summer of 2022 so now that i am in my internship i have about 2 semester left of my college so you should keep in mind that you have 1 to 2 1 to 3 semesters left uh, of your degree and meet the grade requirements of your country i will be talking in a few minutes and when the student application portal actually starts you will see that the projects that have been listed you can choose about minimum of 3 and a maximum of 7 projects 
So since the maximum number of projects that you can apply to are seven, you should exploit the, this opportunity and apply to as many projects as you can. And um, yeah, so that's about it. So some of the requirements for the student call for each specific country has been listed, but I'm gonna talk about India. So these are as follows. So the partner institutions for India are All India Council for Technical Education, that is AICTE, and Shastri Indo-Canadian Institute, SICI. So when you click on this link, that is the eligible institutions in India, you would be directed to a different page showing all the institutes that uh, are eligible for your country. So when I click on India, and you just do control F and find your university, I would say Thapar Institute. So I can see that my university is eligible for application for the MyTax Global Link Research Internship. So yeah, seeing this, I am good to go to start my application. So you should firstly see if your college is eligible for applying for this internship. Moving on, uh, you should keep that in mind. You have one to three semesters left of your program. And in AICT, uh, and the engineering disciplines are uh, considered suitable for this internship. For SICI, it can be all disciplines from engineering to science. The minimum cumulative grade point average, that is the CGPA or the percentage that is eligible for application for AICT is 80% and for SICI is 70%. So these are some of the few things that you should keep in mind before the pre-application starts. And the timeline I can show you is in the about section has been listed here. That is uh, basically uh, the projects which have been sent over by the faculty to my tax would be finalized in July. And I remember that around my time, I had selected the projects at the end of July, which I wanted to apply to. So I would suggest that you prepare a separate word file for all the projects that you want to apply to. Just make up your mind on what domain you have already worked in or wish to work for in the future and apply for those projects according, keeping that in mind. And you can work on your application between the months of August and September. Uh, don't worry, you will get uh, ample of time, but you have to um, keep in mind that is a very crucial step and you give out the best application so that it gets selected. And I will be making more videos on the same. And very importantly, some of the other perk of the MyTax Global Link Research Internship is that those who get selected for this internship are eligible for the Global Link Graduate Fellowship. And you can read about it uh, when you click on this link. And I would be telling you more about this in more of my videos. So I guess that's about it as of now. Currently, I would suggest that you start preparing your uh, CV. And, you know, if you have not prepared your CV till date, collect all the certificates that you have received till now, all the awards, and list it out in a cohesive manner at one place. And also, I would suggest that you uh, create a LinkedIn profile if you don't have it yet. But if you have, you have to clearly mention detail in a detailed manner all the things that you have done. For that, I would suggest that you go over the LinkedIn profiles of some of the people that you admire and those who have um, done a lot of things. And for reference, you can also go over my LinkedIn profile. I would um, attach the link in the description down below. So these are some of the few steps that you should do before starting off your student application for MyTax 2023. So, uh, if you want more videos for the same, I would uh, love it that you subscribe to my channel and share this video with all the college students 
which are known to you and they can benefit from it. So until then, stay tuned. Bye.